Hi, and thanks for coming to watch this uh, video. Uh, now we've got a, a, a big game between uh, number five, Mount Pleasant, going to play number one, Monroe. And uh, these two teams faced earlier in the season, Jeff. Yep, another conference rematch. Um, isn't this what the pod system is supposed to do, prevent these conference rematches so daggum early? No, it's only supposed to keep, keep them from happening in the first round. I'm lost on it, but that's for another story. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, uh, another conference rematch. And, you know, Monroe took the first one by a convincing 35-6 to six victory. And, uh, you know, got some people believing that uh, Mount Pleasant can get some payback in this game. But I just, I really do not uh, do not see it. You know, Monroe has had two one game where they scored over 62, where they scored over 50 and one over 40, and they've pitched one shutout and held five teams to um, <clears throat> five teams in to single digits. Whereas, uh, you know, Mount Pleasant, well, um, the game that really stands out on their schedule is the 47 to 42 loss to. Um, South Iredell. Now, given South Iredell game like that, you know, that brings, that can definitely bring <clears throat> our attention up. And that's one of four games where they've scored over 40. Then they had one game where they scored 70, and that was a 70 to nothing win over, I think it was Union Academy or Central Academy. I think it was Central. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pitched one shutout and held one opponent to single digits. And, uh, but they've also had two games where they allowed over 40 and four games where they allowed over 30 points. And of course, Monroe's only got the one, which was against Sun Valley, where they've yeah. allowed over 40. So I just, I just don't, uh, don't see, uh, Mount Pleasant being able to take Monroe. They might be able to give him a game early on, but I think Johnny Sal is going to have, his guy's ready to go, and I think it'll be like, I'll just go ahead and say a 27-7 ball game. And that's that's the best I can put it right there. And if I'm wrong, I'll eat crow, and I'll do it on camera. So this is a, a matchup. We've kind of had a lot of conversation about this, and uh, the big thing here, in my opinion, is uh, handling speed, and it's speed at all positions, uh, both sides of the ball. And uh, the way that I believe you handle that is through uh, being a physical ball team. Uh, I believe uh, Mount Pleasant's opportunity to win the ball game is, is going to have to lay on the back of being able to have a ball control offense and uh, pound the ball, move the chains, uh, get your first downs, and make time run off the clock and shorten the time of possession that uh, – Monroe has. Monroe is a, will be able to strike quick and score, but uh, keep that ball game and the number of scores down, and that gives you an opportunity to be in striking distance uh, at the end of the ball game. So, uh, well coached team. Uh, both of them are well coached teams, uh, but we got a state champion here that uh, is a very, very well coached team. So, it's, it's going to be hard to beat those boys uh, on their turf, but. Uh, let us know what you think you attend the ball game. Thanks.